Hi, good afternoon, guys. So, ano, uh, for today, I will be making this video. You know, as, uh, I'm still waiting for a project to, ano, I painted this project and I'm still waiting for it to dry. So, I decided to make this uh, video for to test uh, or to show you how to use this uh, ZFM uh, fingerprint scanner because uh, a lot of people are asking about it uh, and some are having trouble using it. So, I will try and explain how using Arduino and also using it uh, together with the PC only. So, let me show you the things that we will need. Okay, so to test the unit, we would need the following. So, we would need an Arduino Uno or Mega or whatever you have available. So, we would need a breadboard also. Uh, this one, this wire, comes with the ZFM when you purchase this. And this is a USB to RS232 converter and of course some wires. Okay, so first uh, we are going to test using the Arduino. So for this for this one we would need of course the Arduino, the wires, the breadboard, and the ZFM program programmer. We would also need the library, the Adafruit fingerprint library, and uh Actually, that that's the only thing that we would need. So, uh, first, let me, you uh, know, let me set this up. First, we have to take a look at the ZFM scanner. So, this 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 uh this here is the underside of the ZFM scanner. I've already attached the cable that comes with it. So, normally, when you receive this cable, you would see another connector on the other opposite side. But uh, we won't be needing that. So, I've already cut that out. And what's left is this cable. So, <clears throat> as for the pin config, so here we can see we have here, uh, let me focus this a bit. So we have here six wires. For the six wires, if we look at the data sheet here, so we have here <clears throat> six pins. From one to six, that's VT out, T single, V in, TD, RD, and ground. <clears throat> so we won't be use we, we will not be using VT out and T single, uh, V in T D R D and ground. That's the only pins that we will be using. So T D and R D are T X and R X. V in is the V C C. That's five volts, and of course the ground. So here, <clears throat> I've already drawn this label, so it would be much easier to see. So let's uh, place this here. Okay, so. The numbering for the pins is starts from the right side of the cables of the wires, sorry. So as you can see, VT out T single is R the two wires on sorry uh, there to the right. So I've already separated that as you can see here, I've already uh knotted it here. So, what's left are V, N, T, D, R, D, and ground. So, the numbering starts, uh, the wire to the left of the white wire, the green wire to the left of the white wire. That start, that's the start of the count. That's 3, 4, 5, and 6. So, just take note of this uh, labeling. Okay, so next we have here the connections for the ZFM scanner going to the Arduino. So I've already labeled the connections for both Arduino and uh, ZFM here. Uh, let me focus this a bit there. So for the ZFM, uh, there. VCC is the fourth pin. TDRD ground is the, the last pin, the pin to the right, the last pin to the right. So, you have to connect VCC of the ZFM scanner to the fi 5 volts of, ano, to 5 volts of the Arduino. TD going to the, to pin 2, RD to pin 3 of the Arduino, and ground to ground. So, for this uh, testing, we will be using the Adafruit fingerprint uh, library. So let's go to the screen. Okay, so that's Outlook, so we don't need that. So, 
uh, this is Arduino IDE and this is the data sheet for the ZFM. So, uh, we have to load this. So don't worry, we, we all these resources that we're using, I will be posting this on the website. So you can down, download it freely. So for this one, first we have to enroll a fingerprint. So for, for to do that, we have to upload this code. So by the way, I think you can save up to a thousand fingerprints to the uh, ZFM scanner. Uh, there, so it's finished. So we just have to open uh, the serial monitor there. So okay, there. So there. So now we have to place there a number to identify the fingerprint. So let's, for example, lang, let's try a uh, pin number. Let's see, I, I mean. Four. So we will be saving my fingerprint to to number four, to, to storage number four. So enter. So now it will be waiting for my fingerprint. So there. So you can see, as you can see, the the scanner is already activated. So let me place my finger there. So and there. Ah, no, no, this one. Okay. So says here remove finger and then you have to sample it again okay in smudge okay so now we have my fingerprint stored to number four so we have to load now sorry this one uh, fingerprint so this one will try to identify uh, the fingerprint to whose to, to which number the fingerprint belongs to to which number in the database so now let's try to upload this okay there it's finished so now we try to So I'm using my pointer finger. Actually, the the, the fingerprint we saved was in the, uh, for my middle finger. So before that, I was testing this. I saved my pointer finger to zero, my index finger. So so now it has a confidence of one in eight. So it has recognized my fingerprint, and then it, it displays a confidence number digit. So let's try my, my middle finger if uh, if, if it, it would detect it, detect it as a uh, finger number four. Okay, so now there. So it's ident been identified as number four. So the, for for the confidence level, uh, you can use that uh, to adjust the sensitivity. So let's say if you're not fifty. Yeah, the, the confidence level is less than 50, so uh, you will try to read the fingerprint again if that's if that's the case. There. Now let's try my thumb. So my thumb is number three. Yeah, I think I saved my thumb to number three. So let's try my middle finger again. So it should be number four. So there. So if I use my index finger again, that's uh, number zero. Ah, I already saved it also to number nine. And there, that's zero. Anyway, that's how you uh, that's how you test the ZFM uh, scanner for the uh, for Arduino. Okay, now so to test it with a PC, we would be using the following components so the ZFM pro the scanner I keep on saying programmer the ZFM scanner a breadboard 
a USB to TTL converter, and some wires. Okay, next we'll be discussing the connections between the ZFM scanner and the PC. Okay, so for this test, we, we would need a USB to RS232 module for this one. This one, this particular one is a PL230 module. So if we turn this over, you would see here the pin config. Let's focus this a bit. Ay, 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 it won't focus. It's there. So as you can see, the pin config there, it's 5 volts, 3.3 volts, TXD, RXD, and ground. So we would be needing the 5 volts. TXD, RXD, and ground for this test. So, I've already drawn here the labeling. So, I'm sorry, pardon for the VCC, that should be VN. So, the VN of the ZFM programmer should be connected to 5 volts over there. So, let's bring this closer. The TD of the scanner is connected to RXD. The RD of the scanner is connected to TXD. And the ground connected to ground of course so there so now we we try and con let's try and connect this to the PC okay there so it's now connected to the PC first let's go to the screen let's close this First, we have to check which which port the computer assigned the module. So, to do that, we have to go to the control panel and then go to open device manager and then choose the ports tab over here. So, if you double click this, you would see there the computer assigned the module to COM3. So we should take note of that. So let's close this. Now we are going to open the test program. So there. So the test program we'll be using is sfgdemo.exe. I mean sfgdemo. So I know. Uh, let's double click this. Now. So actually this program is used to test a dif different kinds of uh, fingerprint scanner. So for this one we will be using this, the ZFM scanner. So now, first, let's click open device. It's there. So my hands are shaking because I've been holding this for a few minutes now. So, sorry. There. So, we should set this as COM3. And click OK. So now the fingerprint scanner was recognized already. So, if we check here, here's the specs of the scanner. We are using a ZFM208SA. Okay, so this program works similar to the Arduino examples, no? So first, we have to enroll fingerprints and then we'll try to match the fingerprints. Just like the examples. So, to do that, we have to click Capture, and then we have to click Match. So, one difference between the Arduino example and between using the, the, the scanner for Arduino and using the scanner for PC, uh, one difference is that it, using a PC, you can save the actual image of the fingerprint. But, for the Arduino, since uh, storage is limited, you, you just save the data uh, got, uh, from the fingerprint. So for this one, you save the data, and at the same time, you also you can also save the fingerprint picture, the picture. So just to show that, we are going to click Preview. So if we click, oh, my hands are shaking already. I've been holding this. I've been holding the the phone for like. 30 minutes already. So now we click preview and then click enroll. So now we assign an, an ID number for my fingerprint. So for this example, since I've used up uh, all my fingers, I'm going to use my pinky for this example. So I'm going to save my pinky finger to 
ID number 9. Let's say 9. Yeah, there. Okay. So now, it's asking me to put my finger for sampling. So there. So it's already activated and I'm going to place my finger there. Okay. So there. So success image transferring. There. So we have to place it again for I think for for comparison. No? So there's image transferring again. So as you can see, you can actually save the fingerprint there. Okay, anyway, so don't mind the error because we won't be using this anyway. So let's click this and then let's click enroll again to 9. Okay, so now let's place again my fingerprint. My finger, I mean. Okay. Okay, so now, as you can see, their ID number 9 has been added. So to match this, let's click match. Oh, so let's, first let's click 9 and click match. So, let's try first my index finger. Deny. So, it's not recognized. Let's try my middle finger. Let's click match again. Uh, let's let's turn that off first. So let's try uh, and my middle finger denied. So let's click match again. So let's try my thumb uh, deny again. So now let's try my ring finger. Denied. So now let's try my pinky. So this should be accepted. There, passed. So there. So that is how you, you can test the ZFM programmer with a PC. Okay, so uh, I hope that clarifies a few things. And uh, if you have questions, you can, you can uh, send us a message. Uh, to our FB page or you can text us so we'll try and see what we can do for your for whatever it is that you, you encounter the problem you encounter so there so I'll try and post more videos for other other modules and sensors and stuff but for now that uh, so I hope that clarifies uh, some, some things about the ZF and the uh, scanner so uh, thank you and uh, have a nice day.